have you ever seen that Simpsons episode where that caveman is frozen in Moe's supermarket? Caveman frozen in a glacier, I face different challenges. I used to share a bathroom with Frostelicus. Or Quick Mark, Quickie Mark, what's it called? You know what I mean. And then Homer or some guy finds him and he's like a caveman, he's been frozen for years. What a great episode. That actually sticks out to me. You know, during your childhood when your dad would make you a smiley face potatoes and fish fingers for tea and some frozen peas and you'd stick that on and you just wouldn't even be concentrating on what you're eating you could be eating dog food and you're just watching the simpsons like this is amazing i love my life as you get older life gets worse um, as we all know and unfortunately we're still here today uh, dealing with the shit of other people but let's let's have a giggle and have a laugh at other someone else's expense let's we're not laughing at this I'm not sure why I said that. What we are going to do, though, is have a, an interesting conversation about a cool as shit story that is actually very fascinating, very interesting. Said no one. Man found frozen in US cave, identified after 47 years. I'll just scroll up so you can read that. Man found frozen in US cave, identified 47 years later. So... What's the story of Milo Mori? Wouldn't you like to know? So he was frozen in Pennsylvania in a cave during 1977. I'm just reading the piece of paper. You can read it too. And uh, finally, they've been discovered. Now, you know, how do you get frozen in Pennsylvania in a cave? Good question, you might ask. Well, hopefully it tells us. If not, we'll come up with a few theories. The body was of 27-year-old Nicholas Paul Grubb from Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, Scranton. That's what she said. <laughs> oh Du, du, du. Du, du, du. I can't do it. I can't even think what the end from is. Authorities say, said they worked out to identify the pinnacle man. I, I think if he was alive, he would profusely refuse to be called that. That is, you know, two out of ten. Poor. Like matching Grub's fingerprints. Grub's body was frozen in a cave. Uh, at 75 miles northwest of Philly. It ends in a near 50-year mystery, multiple unsuccessful attempts to identify the frozen man, and an exhumation five years ago to extract DNA. So this bro's just been chilling, like the packet of peas at the bottom of a supermarket that just keeps getting placed on top of, you know, he's been absolutely frozen. People have been like, who is this guy? What's he been doing? Blah, blah, blah. Weird question, though, like, you know, why, do, why, why were people so fascinated to find out who this guy was? Like, do they think maybe it was like Abraham Lincoln, you know, you know, frozen in time. Like, you know what I mean? If I saw a frozen guy, I'd be like, oh, that's so cool. Kind of scary. I'm getting out of here. Oh, wow. The post-mortem determined the ma the pinnacle man. I'm going to say it like that. The pinnacle man. Died from a drug overdose. Police ruled out foul play. So... The, you know, they got the Mr. Freeze out of cryostasis, the policeman, and uh, they thought, yeah, he looks frozen. Uh, yeah, he looks like he was drugged off his mind. Smells like heroin. Oh, he's still got the needle. Oh, definitely heroin. Dental records and fingerprints were taken, but no match. It had been nearly half a century later, and detective tracked down Grubb's fingerprints, the Berks County Coroner's Office said. They were then submitted to NAMU. Who comes up with these names? A national missing person database and the FBI was able to uncrubber. Uncrubber. <laughs> I think I mixed two words up there. To uncover Grubb's identify, identity in less than an hour. So it took some mugs 40 years while these guys just beep, boop, ba, ba, beep, ba, 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 beep, waited an hour. <whistles> oh yeah, cheers, love. Drink your fit. Oh yeah, his name's Grubb. I mean, how did some people wait 40 years for that nonsense? The coroner's office said the discovery highlighted the considerable effort taken to identify the unclaimed body. They added that the Pinnacle Man had been unsuccessfully compared to around 10 missing people in 15 years, and the body's 2017 exhumation for DNA proved similarly fruitless. I can never say that bloody word. Who created that word? Similarly, 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 similar. I can say that one, but not similarly. Similarly. Fruitless. Fuck you. Officials were considering reburying his remains when the discovery of his identity was made. Grubb, known as Nicky, had served with the army. Oh, they said and received an honourable discharge in 1971. Very appreciate. The coroner's office said his family is very appreciative of the efforts to identify him. I mean, look at the poor dude here. You know what I mean? The man's been, you know, frozen like a popsicle. And some guy had taken him out. 
I mean, that picture on the left is horrifying, isn't it? Like, let, let's be frank, let's be real. He looks like that caveman out of The Simpsons. That's why I mentioned it, because he looks horrifyingly scary. I mean, I would not, you know, go near a guy who looked like that, especially if he's frozen and, you know, got heroin needles sticking out his bum crack. Like, I would keep my distance. But look, the pinnacle man. I actually want to, what does pinnacle even mean? I thought pinnacle meant, like, pinnacle of human evolution, you know, the top. If you're getting frozen and doing heroin, you are not the pinnacle of anything. What's the meaning of pinnacle? The highest or culminating point as of success, power or fame. What is pinnacle about this man? All right, he's got a great set of hair and probably a fantastic beard. His teeth are definitely not pinnacle. The man got frozen in a cave whilst on drugs. There is nothing heroic about that. There is nothing spectacular about that. Anyway, lads, ladies, and anything in between. What do you think of Nicholas Paul Grubb, 27? called the pinnacle man i would just call him the human pop school i think that's a much cooler name i, I guarantee you to got a lot more clicks if you just called him the human pop school but everyone would be like what the fuck a human popsicle i gotta find out what this is bob but yeah good night ladies and gentlemen i'm off to go jump in a freezer and see if anyone will find me in a thousand years time just see what the world's like might be a nuclear wasteland there might be zombies rolling about there might be dinosaurs that have like come out from the ground and like reclaimed their own territory anyway i'll see you in a thousand years lads and ladies